this will be a video that will be covering the DAVE and what it has to offer. First off, I will be covering the various widgets on the embedded map and on the header. First, we have this light and dark mode toggle here. So when you click on this, it'll change the coloring within the app. Now we also have this address or place input to find that location on the map. Once you click enter, it'll put a pop-up template on the map and the specific point where you enter the address. So now that you have done that, you can also zoom out with the zoom in and zoom out toggles here. And if you wanted to locate where you are in the map, you can press this find my location button as well. You could also click on this to show your original extent. And if you wanted to change the base map toggle, you can do so here as well. So if I wanted to do streets at night or navigation or to topographic, you can do so here. I'm going to keep it at streets night. Next up, we have the API data requests. We have the single point form here and you can go ahead and fill this out. You click on the map to get the latitude and longitude. And you can also fill out this to get the time period. We are going to be selecting the clear surface downward irradiance over here. You can go ahead and click out of that. And then you can go ahead and click submit. Once that is done, you'll have a chart below here that will, will be interactable and you can hover over any point to see the specific value at a specific point in time. There is a request details pane here, which has the coordinates you put earlier as well as any other additional information retrieved by the API. And you have a tooltip here that explains what it is. And if you want additional perimeter information, you can click here to see more information about that specific perimeter you selected. And you have a box here showing the minimum, maximum, data type, etc. And once you're done looking at that, you can close this. And if you wanted to copy the API that was used, you can click on this GeoJSON button right here. And it'll let you It'll go to the page of the corresponding format and you can copy the URL request above. So I'm going to go ahead and press the back button and we're back within the app. Next up, I will be showing the visualize functionality of the app. So when you close that, you can go ahead and click on visualize and I will choose a specific parameter within meteorology. And I will add that to the um, comparative analysis pane. And then I can also add in another pane, such as radiation above right here. You can click that and add that to the pane. And once you've done so, you can close that. And you can look at the color bars for each corresponding parameter you selected. And you can hover over it to see what each color corresponds to in terms of values the same here for the other parameter. Next up, we can go ahead and compare these two. And once you add it to the right and left layer sections of the pane, it'll give you a toggle to swipe between both of them. As you can see, you can swipe and you can click on various spots to show you the values for the specific points for each parameter. And you can also click to zoom in on it. Another additional feature is that you can go ahead and slide on the time slider for each parameter and it'll change the values and whatnot for each one. And you can do the same for the other layer as well. And once you're done with all that, you can go ahead and click on the clear all and it'll remove all of it from the map. I'm going to go ahead and open the reports pane by clicking here. I'm going to go ahead and select visualization plots. Next, I will select a visualization name, which will be heat map climatological days. 
select the start date, the end date, and then the parameter as well. So I will be using one of these below, such as temperature at 2 meters. I'll click submit, and we will wait for the response to get back. Now that it is responded back with a graph, you can hover over any of these squares to see the corresponding value. And that is what I have to show for the DAVE and its features. Thanks for watching.